Hello everyone, I hope you are doing great. Today I'm going to show you how to make a questionnaire in the online uh, version. So I'm going to be using uh, Google Forms. Uh, this is one of the websites that is associated with your uh, email account. So I go to Google and type uh, Google Forms and then I enter uh, by clicking on the link and go to Google Forms so you need to have your email so that you can use this uh, form so I'm going to uh, create either blank or blank quiz so I'm going to create uh, starting by blank so this is uh, the interface of the Google Form so we can for example this is the title so we can say this is questionnaire for students and then I can start by uh, choosing the questions so by clicking here and here it will by default be changed so here this is the form description so I'm, I'm going to present uh, myself for example my name is so and so uh, I'm doing research I'm doing for example research on uh, motivation and language learning language learning and you keep describing the form and you ask the respondents to fill in this form so this is how I can enter the data here or just uh, the description for entering the, the, the question so I go here and start ent entering the question so I'm going to start with demographic I'm going to say for example what is your gender and question mark and then on uh, Google Forms will give me suggestions I will pick up male female may add others if I want to here I'm going just to move so this is a multiple choice question I can change the type from this uh, menu so by clicking on this and changing this uh, you know, the form of the question so we have short answer paragraph multiple choice checkbox drop down file upload if, if I want to upload some files linear scale uh, multiple choice grade tick box date and time so the second question if we want to create the second uh, another question I'm going to click on the plus icon add question and for example what is what is your uh, age and we leave it an open question because students give suggestions I prefer this to be open so I'm going to choose short answer so that each participant enters his or her age which is a quality a quantitative variable a continuous variable not a ordinal or categorical variable so now we can add another question if I want to move this I can click on delete if I want to copy it I can copy it by clicking on this copy link uh, all right I can delete it from here I, I can take it as required so so that there will be a red star uh, on it uh, endless students answer it they cannot move to other sections or they cannot uh, submit the, the forms so I'm going to remove this I'm going to make this as required as well as this one also suppose that I need this to do some uh, t-test or regression or whatever correlation etc or independent samples t-test so anyway I'm going to go here to add the other questions for example if I want to add for example uh, a five point Likert scale I can say uh, to what extent uh, to what extent do you agree with the following statements with the following statements Uh, so and then I'm going to choose uh, from here the, ch the type that is uh, grid or rather okay so we can choose just tick box so here we have the rows that is the five point Likert scale items as well as the columns that is uh, the five point uh, Likert scale for example strongly agree agree disagree or neutral strongly 
or disagree and strongly disagree and then I can add uh, the item for example I uh, feel motivated to study during for example COVID-19 this is statement number one uh, I study to get a job study to get a job this is for extrinsic motivation for instance I study to study to impress impress my parents all right so these are like the items that correspond to this scale maybe of uh, extrinsic uh, motivation so i have to move or remove that for example i study to go abroad etc so and this is the five point Likert scale i can copy it if i want to create uh, yet another one and then we can go, we can go to another question for example uh, we can choose for example uh, what mode of education education motivates you motivates you the most so in this case i want the respondents to choose multiple choice or rather they can tick boxes so I can choose uh, instead of multiple choice that gives me just one choice. I can choose check boxes that gives me other choices. For example, we can say online learning, face to face learning. And add others in case the respondents have other options. All right. So I can make also this as required as well as this one and then I can move uh, to create another uh, question for example how can you evaluate how can you evaluate the experience the experience of distance education during COVID-19 COVID-19 for example and then we can leave a little long answer that is paragraph all right so up to now we have seen a short answer paragraph multiple choice check boxes we can also create drop down questions file upload questions linear scale questions for example to what extent do you evaluate distance education during uh, covid 19 choose from less effective to highly effective you can choose this this is a multiple choice grid that is used for multiple to this one to this one so we can change it so this is just uh, students can take more than two uh, more than one choice so i can choose to change it to multiple choice grid just so that uh, they can take just one answer not two so this is the difference uh, then uh, we can see other questions here okay suppose that i uh, type this question here please other please add other remarks please and i want to uh, make this question uh, at the end of the questionnaire so this is open so i can just click uh, move the mouse here till i find uh, can, till i can see this symbol and uh, left click and scroll down till uh, where i want to put the question and I can uh, release the left click button on the mouse and then it will be moved right so this is how I can do this so suppose that I want to share this questionnaire with students online using for example Facebook or WhatsApp so I'm going to go to send and then I can here send it to respondents via email or get a link uh, this is a link and I can even shorten this link and copy it and go for example to Facebook and paste it all right so so that students can uh, respond so once they respond I can go here to responses and I can find their responses in this uh, side I can even download the responses using uh, Google uh, spreadsheet 
can create it using Google so that it will be created so because it's empty we are not going to have any questions so it's like a coded questionnaire as you can see so this is how we can go about analyzing uh, five uh, like this questionnaires in Google Forms uh, we can go to more advanced uh, uh, options later and for now this is all so if you have questions or remarks do not hesitate to uh, post them below or if you need help with uh, designing questionnaires kindly contact me via this phone number I will be able to answer as many questions as I can and see you in another tutorial